guys it's your boy once again and let's talk about this situation what's going on out here where these ladies are pretty much doing whatever to get it i mean they out here tricking they looking good and everything but they are tricking it up now they all going after these professional athletes they got it all planned out how they're going to do it what they want to do it and this baseball player gets caught up but the lady the second lady that got him i know her from somewhere Check her out. Yeah, so this is the chick I saw, and I know I've seen her somewhere, on this show called Pop the Balloon. It's this weird-ass show where everybody, uh, girls line up, excuse me, girls line up with a balloon, and a guy comes out, and just by looking at him and how he's dressed, they go to Pop Balloon and say that they're type and all this other stuff. And she's like a regular on this show, I think. But she always come on and try to be all prissy and all this and chopping down dudes and saying the weirdest shit like she's a princess. But she done messed up. She done messed up big. So our side hustle is hustling professional athletes. Yes. Check it out. Thank you. <laughs> okay, let's go to our next lady here. Hi, my name's Adana, and I pop my balloon because I just feel like maybe you're the type of guy that I would see in passing and just say hello and that's it and keep it moving. But you do have a cool, you know, energy about you. And, um, and, and in addition, you just said you like shorter women. I'm, I'm on the taller spectrum. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Yeah. And how are you feeling her? You're not really my type. That's um, right. uh, you are pretty. You carry yourself, you know. I look at beauty in so many different ways. You carry yourself very well. I like your outfit. Uh, it's just not something like if I saw her, we were going out, I would be like, can you change? You know what I mean? I, and it's not that it's bad. It's just that I'm not into that type of, you know. Different caliber. Different, yeah. yeah. You know, I like artsy women, women that like art and different type okay. of things like that yeah. expense <laughs> you could be artsy artsy and expensive at the same oh, time I didn't trust say, me I, I didn't say expensive oh I thought you said I'm sorry I thought you said you expensive. told on yourself <laughs> yeah. you told on yourself no I thought that's what you said don't sorry <laughs> don't be sorry <laughs> all right thank you expensive is good though oh. All right. Now, MLB pitcher Trevor Bauer of sexual assault was indicted this week for allegedly defrauding the former one-time Cy Young Award winner, according to legal papers. Darcy Adana Esimunu, who sued Bauer and allegedly demanded $1.6 million after claiming he impregnated her. She was charged with one count of fraudulent schemes and artifices on Monday. Now, here's the crazy part about all that. This chick not even pregnant. Now, she's doing all this, trying to get $1.6 million from this man. And every time he rejects her, she would go up. That's how they get to the $1.6 million. But she claiming she's pregnant. And of course, you know, it's like the, uh, the fresh and the fresh and fit situation. You got to prove it. You need the doctor stuff. You need all the doctor's paperwork, you know, saying that you're pregnant. And, of course, you know how that's going to go. But I'll let y'all see. Women who accused me of sexual assault just got indicted for committing felony fraud against me. Imagine that. Now, let me catch up to speed. In the last three years, two women have taken legal action against me. Uh, Lindsay Hill started all this. You may remember her from this video as the girl who set me up and lied to the world in an attempt to take my money. As everything was completely consensual, he also released these text messages that came out in court indicating that you had planned the whole thing out. So I want to read some of these texts from you to a friend between the two of you before you met Trevor, this one. Next victim, star pitcher for the Dodgers. Okay. Victim is an interesting choice of words. I'm, I'm going to allow you a chance to explain yourself. But after you agreed to meet, you asked your friend what, should, what you should steal. Your friend answered his money. 
Uh, he says, another one from you to a friend. I'm going to his house Wednesday. I already have my hooks in. You know how I roll. With a screenshot in which you told him, tryouts don't scare me, Bauer. Pick a day and I am there. Here are some more after you and Trevor met up. Net worth is $51 million, to which your friend responds, bitch, you better secure that bag. Your text, need daddy to choke me out, being an absolute whore to try to get in on his $51 million. You say this wasn't a setup. How can you expect anyone to believe that? That's a great question. I really appreciate you having me on to even have this conversation. Um, obviously, there's a lot going on around this, so I really appreciate uh, people who are asking questions about it. Um, the first thing I want to say is, you know, I think that Trevor did this intentionally with the text messages and how he framed this video. Um, there's several things in it that are not correct. Um, and I just want to start out by saying, you know, those it's so valid for people to question those text messages. But the root of the problem here is that he is presenting this as one conversation when in reality he had thousands of message messages to choose from took those made it look sequential which it was not um there is no combined screenshot of those things going on one after the other look at her facial expressions she's like and as i said last night as well um there's no text message that ever exists otherwise he would have you know put it out there uh combining you know anything about a setup uh through rough sex finances all in one. Those were handpicked and they were not, they were from multiple different conversations all before we met up. Um, and I, I think that the Look video the in general doesn't even talk about what actually happened between us really. two, which is what would have come out during a, a jury trial. Um, you know, these were all messages that happened before. And then of course the video is so valid as well for people to ask questions about. Um, but I do think that that video was entirely misleading. He also references the uh, restraining order hearing, which people also have questions about. Um, he says that he was cleared of any wrongdoing, which is actually incorrect. Um, it's me is why, why are you professional athletes and just guys all together? Why did y'all stop using protection? Why y'all not wrapping it up? Why are y'all setting yourselves up for this over and over and over and over again? It got to be something mentally wrong with you guys. There's no way I would want to go through this over and over. I don't know. Some of y'all, something wrong with y'all, man. In our civil case, the judge had actually ruled that he had not been cleared of any wrongdoing. Um, and that was a federal court judge. So, um, so OK, so I, I want to get to the to the domestic violence uh, restraining order hearing as well. But I, I mean, so you're saying you're saying that it's misleading because you did you're admitting that you did talk about rough sex and wanting rough sex. You did talk about uh, he, him needing to choke you out. You did talk about stealing his money, but it's misleading because he put them together in the same video as if you had said it in the same conversation when in fact it was separate conversations, correct? That's, that's what, why it's misleading? Correct. This here should just be a case of stupid. You so stupid, you didn't even realize what you just said. You just cold admitted to everything that you made up on this man. These women are stupid. They just want the bag so bad, man, they don't care. Check out this. That's... Well, today, the only other one, Darcy Adana Asimonu, has been criminally indicted for committing felony fraud against me and another man. So now she's facing up to 16 years in prison. Her claims are even more absurd than Lindsay's were, so here's some of the details. We had one plain sexual encounter in December of 2020, nothing that could be considered remotely rough. Uh, she initiated it, but don't take my word for it, take hers. This is a picture and text message she sent me the next morning explaining why she came on to me. And for months afterwards, she repeatedly requested to sleep with me again. Uh, for example, this text from January 7th, 2021. At one point, she even requested a sample of my sperm so she could have my child whenever she wanted to in the future. Now, it's hard to keep track, but she's made at least four seven-figure demands over the last few years, uh, more than a year after the one time we slept together and only after Lindsay Hill made up her false allegations, Adana retained a lawyer. Uh, she then demanded $3.6 million and claimed I forced her to have an abortion, leaving devastated and irretrievably damaged by it. But uh, here's the thing, she never had an abortion because she was never even pregnant, and that's corroborated by her own medical records. Uh, when I refused to pay her the $3.6 million she was asking for, she made up a bogus sexual assault claim and filed a civil suit against me. In that version of her story, she claimed, for the first time by the way, uh, that there was non-consensual sex, but her texts from the next morning show what actually happened. Remember this text in which she explains why she came on to me? 
She also claims that instead of an abortion, she actually had a miscarriage, but that's impossible, of course, because again, she was never even pregnant. Uh, we now have emails between her and the first two law firms that dropped her, in which they acknowledge they never had any evidence to support her claims, but they'll try to get my money anyway. I then shared an audio recording I have in which Adana contradicts her own claims and asks me for money. In the emails, her lawyers agreed that that's insurmountable evidence, and they inform Adana that they can no longer represent her unless she can provide documentation or proof of her claims. And of course, she couldn't do that, so the law firm urged her to consult other law firms with different standards. Well... I guess you can walk around and smile and slow-mo and be so happy and so prissy today. But tomorrow, you might be wearing a jumpsuit and not so happy. And they doubt if it's moving in slow-mo anymore. You're going to get about 16 years if you get convicted. 16. All because you're trying to be greedy. Trying to take from something that don't belong to you. Ladies, what are you doing out here? Is it really worth it? Come on. People not playing with y'all anymore. Just not playing. But you have fun wearing that jumpsuit. I bet you won't be popping no balloons no time soon, my lady. But God, is all I got. Hope y'all enjoyed. I don't care. Because she going to jail. But it's your boy, Mr. Nobody, and I'm up out of here. And maybe we'll find her and see her again later on down the line. But until then, peace.